Hello everyone. I'm here with my good friend AJ Blyer. We're gonna go over some stuff in Premiere. My name is AJ Blyer. I'm a DJ director. I'm pumped to be here. The new updates that have been added to the Premiere Pro beta, including some of these new AI powered tools, they bring some of my favorite and most desired features from After Effects straight into Premiere Pro. One of them, and the one that I'm gonna chat about right now is object masking, which is amazing. First thing I did, I just shot a background play. These are the two of them playing frisbee and then how we're going to make sure this frisbee goes exactly where i need it to go that is uh, me and agreeing to Thanks. <laughs> i need to cut myself and stick out of this select the clip i want to work with there's a new tool called object mask when i click this it's going to have a little think about this clip and just like this it's able to intelligently select objects in the frame there we go you notice it's like I turned blue. You have a whole palette of different colors here that you can select from. And now with this mask, that's great, but we got to track it. That's the magic feature. So if I go over here in the corner, I can do a frame forward. I can do a frame backward. I can do the whole thing forward, the whole thing backward, or this button in the middle where it's going to track this clip forward the rest of the way and then continue it. The other, look at how it cuts out the Frisbee even when it goes in front of my body. So now I'm just going to take this mask and I'm gonna drop it under opacity. When you do that, boom, cuts out the whole thing. If you notice, it kind of did the opposite of what we want, right? It cut out everything but the Frisbee. <laughs> There's a single click for it right here with inverted. You click that, and now you can see it cut out only me and the stick. I can just drop this on top of my plate, and I'm not there anymore. A couple things I wanna call out. You can see a little bit of ghosting and stuff around the edges there. So here, I can take this expansion tool, and you can see it gives you just a little bit more control and fidelity over this. And here's what the rest of that scene might look like if it was fully masked. Wait, now what is happening? <laughs> How are you doing that? Is it doing a loop? And here I have it, just in normal clothing. Did I purchase and put on a whole green suit just for this bit? I did it for you. All I gotta do, it's the same exact process here. Select this clip put on my object mask tool, have a quick thing. I can select me, I can select Jack, I can select Adam, and I can track forward and backward on all of these items just as seamlessly, and it just churns right through it. It's really unbelievable. Sure, to do it with a chroma key thing, all the steps that we would take to get a clean mask before, really aren't a thing anymore. Now, the nice thing is, is even if you choose your object mask tool, it'll select different objects, but what are there certain things you wanna highlight that maybe the tool didn't pick up or maybe it's something really specific? Let's say this is great, but ah, oh, this pesky mask, it did, it, it, it got the Frisbee too. And all I have to do is I can go to this mask and I can hit a minus button. I circled outside the Frisbee and now I've just augmented that. I wanna show off a little bit of things in uh, Frame.io because I wanna show you kind of the core idea of how Frame.io works. We've got this uh, shoot, uh, these hikers are out and about. I'm just gonna open up this file. And we've got transcription available in there. I can go in, select uh, an area of my image. Maybe I wanna brighten something in the background. You can go in there, I can draw right on the screen. I can also choose different shape. I can just put a giant arrow in. What I love about this is you have the ability to create share links. So I'm just gonna highlight a couple of these videos. I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna go create share link. So I'm gonna go and just make that public. I can email it out and I'm just gonna hit done because I'm gonna go and edit a little bit more on this. I'm gonna give this a cover image. I can upload my oh, own. Oh, I haven't done this. Oh, dude, psh, whole new world, bro. Um, that's, so that's you, great. You've got options to turn things on and off, but you know what? I'm gonna add an emoji because I'm gonna blow my client's mind with all the stuff I can do. I've got a ton of different tools to customize this. Check this out. So if I jump over to Premiere, so I can access my files inside of Premiere. The beautiful thing about having it in the product is that you don't have to leave Premiere. I can see all of my metadata fields. But what's really nice is I can actually export this. It'll upload into frame wherever project I want it to go. Um, I can choose a location. I'll throw it in uh, one of these. What's really nice is that once anybody leaves comments, they're gonna appear as markers right on your timeline. Thank you all so much for joining and uh, stick around for the next show. We got some great stuff for you all yeah. day.